there, there are a couple where I found in this is mostly on the pine phone, which mm. is like super like early still in some things. Yeah. But like SXMO, they're working on using Sway's Sway's a backend mm -hmm. or in place of DWM for Wayland. Mm -hmm. And so some of the migration from SXMO to SWMO is kind of weird. And it's like, I'm not sure what's going on, but it's not working. Mm -hmm. So I like do the script thing and like it goes through and does its thing. And it's like, I'm going to let sit here and wait it out until something fixes at I, this point. The fuck am I looking at? I just found SXMO. This is like actually fucking peak it's DWM. It is for peak the Linux Pine user. Phone. Yes. See, see. It it's kind of the one where it's like okay, I like this a little bit more than some of the other options. Like as much as I like, you know, D menu and like the 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 DWM look. Why is this video not loading? I I don't want that on my phone. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Video is loading now. Yeah, this this is. <laughs> this is technically a mobile interface. I see a terminal window. I, I see literally ST running on it. Um, oh. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> I love it. Like this, I I I kind of want to buy a Pine phone just to do something stupid like this. But like <laughs> this is this is not a good phone interface. It it is still very janky. Yeah. It works. Like, early SXMO people complained because it was very heavy, like, button-based. Right. So you're sitting there using the power button and volume buttons a lot. Mm -hmm. And then they added touch gestures, which changed a lot of things. So you can, like, adjust the brightness and things like that with touch gestures now. Okay, I must be looking... This video they have on there must be an older video then because it's just, like, constantly using the uh, the audio rocker. Ah, uh, that would be an older one then. Oh wait, no, it's show ah, okay, no, it it's showing that is still there, but you also still have ac okay, you do have access to gestures. Okay, okay. Yeah, I thought of using the gesture daemon on my ThinkPad to mess around with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still like not quite sure about that, but I've taken the keyboard and like mm -hmm. okay, on screen keyboard got that because. You're trying to use the ThinkPad in tablet mode. You don't have access to the keyboard. Mm. There are just a couple other things I'm trying to figure out with that. To make it just screen stuff. Qtile. So how is the uh, how is the Pine Phone? What is the exper the Pine Phone experience like? I haven't used it as a daily driver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have plugged my SIM card into it. So depending on the phone network, you have to like adjust the network settings for mm. your cellular network. It's odd, but at uh -huh. the same time, it makes sense because mm. some of that just isn't automatically set in, even though it wants to be. Mm. So, like to get data, I had to change the phone um, network name so that I could actually connect to data, but calls and texts come in just fine. Mm -hmm. I've barely done done like MMS, but still find Plasma kind of janky, mm. even though it's the official like what official interface for the Pine phone. Mm -mm. And it's like, I still can't get behind it. I like Fosh a little bit better than the Plasma. Mm. And then SXMO is just like the kind of fun one to play around with. Yeah, like this, 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 uh, I presume the, the picture they have on their, their website would be Plasma then. Um, this looks like a phone interface. Like, that That looks functional. It doesn't look like a modern version of Android, but, like, it looks, you know, a couple of versions old. It, it looks like you can use it. Um, mm. It's usable for mm -mm. asthma. It's just kind of weird because the Pine phone is still, like, a low-powered device. Mm. So sometimes the applications take longer to start up than you want them to. Right. Especially when you're running it off of an SD card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, phone specs are kind of weird to compare because I don't really know what the reference point is here. 
Like, oh, it's an ARM Cortex A53. You're like, what, what does that mean? Yeah. I don't remember exactly, like, what that means, but it means that it doesn't run as fast as you would expect it, is mm -hmm. what I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to get one. Like, I I've been thinking about getting one. Just not those like my main phone. Like, I I like my my Chinese spyware phone. It does everything I need it to do. Um, uh, but I think it, there'd be a lot of fun content with the Pine phone. Especially messing around with things like XMO, uh, XM, SXMO, for example. Uh, oh, it's just odd setup, mm -hmm. somewhat, but. Uh, does the odd setup somewhat well mm -hmm. it keeps getting smoother is what's nice so like i think wagedroid was the more recent thing that was optimized on it mm -hmm. so like you can actually run your rather than using anbox with like xorg and having to worry about that you're running your android emulator in island mm -hmm. as a front end and then it uses oh lineage os for the image as mm -hmm. well you're not sitting there running this like janky app manager. You're actually running Android per se in it, but mm -hmm. then it can containerize the apps. So it's like an app on your phone instead of trying to do this janky setup to get the icons to work on your home screen. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's still very obviously like beta, very beta, but that's yes, clearly. It is. There's clearly something being done here to make it work. Mm -hmm. And Android apps run somewhat smoothly mm -hmm. now on it too. So you know, someone's got like an Android build for the Pine phone specifically. They're, uh -huh. they're somewhat being up on. So what you're saying is I could try to play Fortnite on it. It won't run very it well. It probably... No, it won't. I wonder if you could play Among it, Us slightly well. Among Us is a much less demanding game. You might be able to play it slightly well, but I still wouldn't bank on it. <laughs> Maybe you should go back and play like an early version of Temple Run then. For, back from like 2013. I would probably stick to the um, oh, portrait games because what I've been able to see, mm. land, it doesn't... Wagery doesn't work too well with landscape. Right. Unless it's just a weird way that, like, Fosh is messing with it, that it doesn't tell it we're in landscape now. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that. <laughs> that does sound a bit messy. Um. I don't know. Does it. I wonder how you would capture the screen on this, though. If you. I know it has USB C. I don't know if you mm -hmm. can do. Oh wait, no. Display port alternate mode output. So you can do Display port over USB C. I guess. Ah. Uh, um. Yeah. The, it basically has the convergence stock that you can get uh -huh. into it. It's got your Ethernet and USB stuff on it. Right. So I could go from so... that into my Ava Media or something like that. Yeah. You can, so it'll basically take the um, external display that mm -hmm. you have and then display that rather than the phone screen itself. So you're using the phone screen as kind of an auxiliary app drawer. Uh huh. Can't, you could. And then you've got the main screen where you're doing all your other stuff with the keyboard and whatnot. Uh huh. Okay. Because I know there it's are videos... It's still kind of really janky. Yeah, I know there are videos on the Pine phone, so there's clearly ways to do this, uh, but I expect it to be very janky. Mm -hmm. Apparently, um, SWMO, the Wayland counterpart to SX SXMO, runs really well, mm. but I haven't been able to get that set up, like I said. SWMO. Well, it's going to be under SXMO stuff. Um, me... Uh, okay. Lin Mob actually did a blog post about it. Can oh, we link we address? SWMO Whalen version. Can we do that? Oh. Uh, okay, so the main idea is to have, uh, have main 
SXMO features over Sway. So DWM config would be Sway config, D menu would be B menu, SVKB would be WVKB, List GD would be List GD, Conky would be Conky. Oh. Apparently they're working on getting Conky working under Wayland. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Uh, That's what it says right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading a ticket for uh, SWMO. Mm. Huh. This this list of like software is the reason why Linux doesn't have much support. <laughs> it's just like this. <laughs> this is just like a a vomiting out letters. <laughs>